So we're back at, uh, at, at the house, one of the first videos that we've done where the homeowners um, had some aspirations for things they wanted to get done. I shared with them some, some feedback and, and, and a few options. And in this case, they did a little bit of a mix between the more frugal option and an option with some of the things that they wanted to do to kind of keep their costs down. When you're remodeling, your costs can escalate quickly. Make sure you keep track of what your dreams are and what you think they're gonna cost. And we have a, a budget worksheet that we have that you can use, but I think they did a phenomenal job to accomplish a great end result. If you remember, we had um, an island here, that right around here we had the upper bar mm -hmm. that was split. Uh -huh. And it came back not quite as far. It's like too high for my kids to eat at. It was too high to serve food. Oh, really so that was really like the thing that kind of got us going. Like as someone that loves to cook, it was super frustrating. I just had like this little space here that was usable to me. The advice that I remember you gave was the, the option to keep the existing island base and sort of ripping out the uh, two tier. Uh -huh. We were able to keep the original cabinets uh -huh. on the front. So uh -huh. it has like a dishwasher, sink, and four drawers. And uh -huh. they built us like a new 12 inch cabinet here. And are those actual? They are covers. And I don't remember, were they cabinets before too? No, no, okay, just, just a panels. Like, That's right. It does come out a little further. So you got a little extra storage space out of it. Yeah, and it's, and it's useful. Yes, it sure is. space that someone could eat under here. So were these the original cabinets? Yeah. And you just painted them? They took them all off and took them To out. a shop or something. And then they painted the side and then matched the new ones. Beautiful. They did. Beautiful. The With the options of like starting all brand new compared to what we did. Oh, for sure. It's a lot of savings. With plumbing and electrical and dealing with the flooring and all that, it did save us quite a bit. And time too, don't you think? Yeah. Oh yeah, and time, absolutely. And then the, the sink too is different, isn't it? We used to have a split, yeah, split sink, and this is awesome. I... So it feels like just a, a nice big work working station. The other night we made pizzas, and I was like over here with toppings and like pizza dough, like it just probably tripled kind of my useful space with an arm reach. This is nice too, and then like the kids have been eating here more. As much as we tried to save money on the island, uh, I guess it allowed us to expand our budget to uh, do some of the other things that always sneak up on you when you're doing remodeling. That's an interesting point. It's like uh, some of your most expensive parts, if you can find a way to save just on that element a, li a little bit and get close to what you want. Now you've been able to broaden what you're able to complete. I like your choice of, of countertops. It's bright. This is quartz. Uh huh. And we tried to do something to light, but also tie in the dark cabinets. We, for now, we've just decided to keep the dark. Sure. We yeah. Like the contrast. Yeah. Well, and again, now you know you've painted something, so you could always hire the same company to come back and say, "Hey, let's paint these a color or something." Right. I convinced Paul that that I really wanted the counters to match. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Because the real project was leveling this. And I was like, I just really want it to match. I uh -huh. think it'll just look so much better. When we got our estimate on our countertop, uh, because of the size or whatever, and the, the sheets that they would use, um, if we decided to do this at a later time, it would have cost us a lot more mm. versus being able to just do it all. Using the same slab or whatever for that. Yeah. We also have a new backsplash. Uh -huh. We used to have like that little thin tile that was yeah. kind of all those earth tones. And I just, I, I feel like it's a lot lighter. Did you have the lights both before under the cabinet? Yeah, and okay. they need to be repaired. Sure. So that, that hasn't been But you can appreciate the light a little better now because you have, because of how bright it is right. now. Yeah. yeah. So and that's that's kind of like next level on our project. We need to fix our lights. This is one of the fun things about remodeling, I think, is, is you get to do things in phases and doesn't it give you kind of a sense of hope for the space? Right. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the, the next level would be like, we need to touch up the cabinets, see how we like them, you know, yeah. like clean them, touch them up, and some new hardware. And the great thing about your guys' case, you're living in the space and you find out the things that you don't like, and so it doesn't take a lot to adjust it to make the space now that you love it, right? Really just some paint, backsplash, and these, these uh, countertops have what we had before. But it feels way different. I mean, totally different. Do you feel like, um, that you're heading in the direction you want to go then? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. you know, home is a sanctuary. And I feel like it is, you know, it's just like a great place to get our energy up and yeah. build shelter from the world. You know, which suggestions do you feel like helped you the most? I think just knowing that we didn't have to like gut it all out and yeah. start brand new, yeah. you know, yeah. so we can have kind of a new feel, uh -huh. new function, more functional, but yet 
we didn't have to start from ground zero. Yeah. It's nice to know the options, you know, because we had all these options of like, well, we take it all out, uh, turn everything, uh, and then we gotta move plumbing, and you know, how yeah. everything would have, like seeing the steps of what each option was, it was very doable. One of my favorite things to do to help clients with is do just that. Here's two or three options for you, because your circumstances change all the time, and so where option one might have sounded good today, but in two months, option three might feel more appropriate. And so I'm glad that, the, that you're able to do it. I think you've done a great job, so. Thanks for letting me uh, share in this experience with you a little yeah. bit. <laughs> it's a great kitchen. We've been using it fully to the max every day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, watch the videos, comment, but most importantly, we'll see you next time.